blessed day guys and peace be upon you today so in this video we're going to learn how to allow VLANs or deny VLANs through the trunk interface so in normal configuration we should not be allowing everything or denying everything we should allow or deny certain VLANs as per our configuration so before i go deep into this i'll just open the google spreadsheet and let you know that we are in class uh, day three of switching technologies so um today we're going to handle trunk allowed or denied vlans i will open this as uh, ppt this is a method that allows or denies certain VLANs through the trunk interface. This will prevent unnecessary traffic from being circulated in our network. Okay, so we see that by default, all the VLANs are allowed through the trunk interface. So for example, when an attacker comes, let's say, let's say an attacker comes to this switch, okay, and it creates VLAN, okay? So by default, all the VLANs are allowed to the trunk interface. That VLAN is, uh, is allowed by default to propagate through across our network. So that's why we should employ this security measure of allowing or denying specific VLANs according to our configuration or desire, okay? All right, so uh, there are ways to, uh, to, to do that. There's a way to allow or deny VLANs. And before we get into the ways, I'll just open this um, notepad to highlight the steps that have followed to reach this point, okay? So the first point was to draw the necessary topology, decorate and comment. So guys, it's very, very simple. I've not made any consp uh, configs on this, uh, on this, uh, on this um, topology. I've only do this topology and comment and uh, provided the comments. So you can see a switch, this switch is connected to this switch through F1, F2, F1, F2 on this head. So this one is taking the remaining interfaces. For example, F3, F4, F5. Okay, and this is F2. I mean VLAN 10, the this network, and this VLAN 10. Blue, I mean blue background VLAN 10. Uh, yellow background VLAN 20, and the pink background to be VLAN 30. Okay, all right. So uh, the next thing, configure IP addresses to the host devices. So this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do to demonstrate. For example, this should be uh, in this network 10 or something. So let's make let's make this one 10 or 10, and this one to be 10 or 20. Then this one 20 or 10, 20 or 20. Then this one 30 or 10, 30 or 20. Okay. So I'll do it very very fast at the same time. Okay. All right. So I just come here. Okay, so I've done the uh, assigning uh, host devices IP addresses. So the next step in on our config guides. So you see that step three is to create VLANs on the switches and name them. Okay, all right. So basically, I'm going to create uh, five VLANs: VLAN 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. So I go to this switch. We create a name. Enable uh, config team. Uh, how do you create VLAN? VLAN 10. Uh, let's name it. Name it uh, IT. Okay, so guys, as you can see, I've created three valid VLANs 10, 20, 30. But for VLAN 40 and 50, you can see I've labeled them ACA1 and ACA2. Okay, all right. So I'll go to the other switch and uh, configure the same valence. Now I'll do it very, very fast to save time.
Similarly, in uh, switch, uh, the other switch, you can see I've created all the valid villains, the three of them, and the Aka has also created uh, the two villains, Aka 1 and Aka 2, okay? So if I can just say do show villain, do show villain, you see? Oh, sorry, do show. Okay, you can see there are three valid villains. Let's say, assume that those are the valid villains and two Aka's villain okay all right so uh the next step in our config guide we need to identify and assign ports numbers uh will uh, we need to identify and assign ports villain numbers appropriately for example this one should be villain 10 f3 here villain 10 f4 here villain 20 okay and f5 here villain 30 okay so let me do it very very fast to save time so just interface fa0 slash 3 okay and switch port mode just change the mode first to be access then switch port to access uh vlan let's say vlan uh, 10 okay all right so we move to the other port which is fa04 so fa04 fa0 okay so the next step here the next step is to configure trunk links between the two switches so any link connecting the switches switches sorry should be trunk f1 f2 on this side f1 f2 on this side so let's make them trunk links so just say interface range because they are, they are more than one f0 slash 1 to 2 just say switch port mode switch port mode trunk that's all you come on this side and exit interface range fa0 slash 1 to 2 then switch port mode mode trunk that's all so the next thing in our config displayed allowed display allowed VLANs on the trunk interfaces. Okay. So how do you display allowed VLAN on the trunk interfaces? Very, very simple. We just say uh, show interface trunk. That's all. And we said by default all the VLANs allowed to the trunk interface you can see we add trunk on fa1 and fa2 and all the VLANs even the hackers VLANs are allowed okay so if you go to this switch again and say uh, and show uh, interface trunk you see all of the VLANs are allowed to the trunk interface okay so another step tells us that deny or allow certain variants as per your need. The first thing that I'm going to do, the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to try to deny, okay? The first thing that we do, let's deny, okay? I want to deny this hacker's villain, 40 and 50. So just config T. You will deny them on the trunk interface. You first enter the trunk interface. So inter trunk interface was interface range. Okay. FA1 to 2. So we just say switch port. Trunk. Allowed VLAN. Allowed VLAN to be. Allowed VLAN accept. Okay. Let's first deny VLAN uh, 40 or 50. Okay except VLAN 50 and if and now I can just say do show interface trunk trunk you can see all the VLANs are allowed except VLAN 50 okay but this hackers VLAN is still here so I just want a situation whereby we only allow a specific VLANs you can see if we deny VLAN 50 VLAN 40 is still here or an attacker can still create another villain by the name villain 60 and it can be allowed by default okay so the best strategy is to allow only specific villain so how are we gonna do this we just say 
um, we are still in the interface uh, this one this range so just as we put trunk allowed VLAN to be allowed VLAN to be let's say VLAN 10 20 uh, 30 only and you hit enter so if you can just say do show interface trunk see this okay all right so guys that's that's the way to uh, allow specific VLAN through the trunk interface okay so for example let's say I want to ping this PC to this PC VLAN 10 to VLAN 10 so I'm going to try to ping ping uh, ping uh, the P address was 10 dot uh, 10 dot 20 uh, 10 dot 20 You see it's pinging but now let's say uh just for a demo also on this side i want to deny uh vlan 10 through the trunk interface meaning this pc will not be able to ping the 10 or 20 okay all right so let's go to this switch and deny vlan 10 so um config t and we say uh, interface range the trunk interface fa 0 slash 1 to 2 and we just say switch port trunk uh, allowed vlan except allowed vlan except 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 vlan 10 we just write 10 okay do right do show interface trunk you see all the villains are allowed except villain 10 so that's a way to uh, deny villain but on this side guys you could see we allowed villains we allowed villains here um, we allowed villains here they were here okay this is how to allow villains okay and this is our this is how to deny villain except okay so let me try to ping the same pc that that uh, was responding previously you can see it will not ping now because this switch here is blocking vlan 10 from passing through the trunk interface okay so guys thank you so much i uh, believe this video has really helped you now to configure uh vlan how to uh, deny or allow vlan through the trunk interface and i'll just mark that uh, i'll mark this uh, class as done so trunk allowed denied villains are done tomorrow we meet to configure native villains then we move to remote access tel uh, telnet as such etc etc so so thank you so much guys and please share our videos like our video and drop a comment below so that we can also motivate it thank you so much and bye